Are these the oldest things in the collection here? You know, that's, uh, that's actually uh, pretty on the mark. So a lot of these jade figurines from China. So here we are now in China. These jade figures date from as far back as prehistory, even into the Neolithic era, all the way through the Han Dynasty, and then even beyond. To reiterate the theme for our discussion this hour is meaningful materials. So specifically talking about the materials that go into creating a work of art and the meaning that's ascribed to those materials. Jade has been a prized prestige material throughout much of China's history. Jade is a bit of a uh, nebulous term, though, because traditionally in China, jade, you could say it's a cultural definition uh, describing many different types of stone of a, of a semi-precious, uh, highly uh, ornamental appearance. Whereas, uh, and today though, still what we scientifically define as jade still also consists of multiple types of stones, uh, jadeite and nephrite. Quite a variety of different shapes and sizes, some recurring shapes. There's a tradition of six ritual shapes. This codification during the Han Dynasty around in the 2nd uh, century or 1st century BC, ascribing meaning, ascribing symbolic meaning to the, the particular types of jades. Basically a textbook for bureaucracy. <laughs> so uh, we see some common shapes. The, so the cylinder, these beautiful decorated cylinders, sometimes having wonderful spiral patterns on them, sometimes having uh, geometric uh, designs. We also have these these half circle forms, these crescent forms, uh, these long flutes or prism type uh, forms, as well as uh, a variety of blade-like forms. Six distinct forms which in the second century BC, meaning was ascribed to them after their original significance. The idea was, was actually lost over time, but it's thought that they are metaphors for the heavens, the earth, and the four cardinal directions. We see these magnificent jade dragons in the center, these ornamental pieces, which if you look really closely, you see there are little holes towards the top perforating through right at the center of gravity so they could suspend as ornaments. Often there, these objects are found in a funerary context, so as ornamentation for the deceased. Uh, also in the Han Dynasty, while some of these date much, much earlier to the Shang and Zhou dynasties of the first 2,000 years BC. In the Han Dynasty, around uh, um, 200 BC to 200 AD, you find um, the, that aristocracy were being buried with full suits, almost suits made out of jade, stitched together with golden thread. Jade has these properties of longevity and immortality. It's even sometimes used, of, so in the grinding process, the pulverized powder of jade that comes off might even be a medicinal ingredient when ingested, gives a, a longevity upon the um, consumer. Also, uh, the mouthpiece for an opium pipe for smoking and the idea of the smoke that passes through the jade grants powers of longevity upon the smoker. You know, don't try it at home, stay in school, stay off drugs, but, uh, <laughs> but yeah. Jade is such a remarkably hard material that you can't even carve it. To use the word carving is uh, misleading because one can't carve it with a blade. One can only grind it down. So that's part of the reason what, why there's such um, a cultural value ascribed to jade because of the extreme labor-intensive process in their manufacture. One uh, uses sticks, sometimes even reeds of bamboo, and it's not the stick that's carving it, but with a, an abrasive, like a powdered quartzite, so a different type of stone, a quartz stone, that you slowly grind away, slowly creating channels and removing regions, pulverizing the jade as you work your way through it. Similar process to brushing our teeth. It's not the bristles of the brush that are getting things off of our teeth. It's the, the abrasives in the toothpaste, which is why your dentist tells you always to use very minimal pressure because after six months, if your toothbrush looks like this, you know you're pushing too hard. <laughs> Lessons from my dentist, right? <laughs> One other thing, so quite a variety of different virtues ascribed 
to Jade, the beautiful appearance, the powerful strength, the musical qualities to Jade having a harmonic resonance when struck. There's a great quote from the first century dictionary that describes Jade. The Chinese word for Jade is Yu, Y-U. Yu is the fairest of stones. It's endowed with five virtues. Charity is its luster, bright yet warm. Rectitude is its translucency, revealing the color and markings within. Wisdom is its pure and penetrating note when struck. It is courage, for it can be broken, but it does not bend. Equity is its sharp edges, which injure none. <laughs> 